Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing our 15th coding tutorial and our second scratch coding tutorial. So let's get started. Today we're going to be making a game in scratch that has custom costumes, code, and imported sounds. And it's about an anglerfish eating a fish multiple times. So let's get started. So in the costumes for the anglerfish, I made this costume with the anglerfish um, with its mouth open, and this costume with the anglerfish eating the fish. And for the fish, I just made this small little costume. And yeah, that's basically it. And next up for the sounds, we need to hover our mouse cursor over to the sound, then click that search icon, which is also labeled to the sound, then click the search bar, and then search chomp. And it sounds like this. And then once you click it, it's going to be imported into the project. So yeah, chomp is for when the anglerfish eats the fish. Oh, and I forgot to change back the anglerfish. Just a second. All right, now it's back. Okay, next up for the code. The code is relatively simple, but more, uh, more advanced than the previous scratch coding tutorial. So, as many of you might know, uh, there, most gamers use WASD to control their character, or their avatar, or their person, or whatever it's called in their game. So, let's use WASD. So, for W, change Y by 10, that moves it up, and then if on edge, bounce, so it's not going to move out of the uh, box. Next up, for A, change X by negative 10, that moves it left. Same thing if on edge bounce. And then for S, change Y by negative 10. That's just going to move it down if on edge bounce. Then for D, it, if it's going to change X by 10, so it's going to move right. And then if on edge bounce, like the previous one. And then when the fly is clicked, that's basically the, st the go. And that, that's going to start the game. We need a forever loop. And if touching fish... Like, if anglerfish touches fish, then it's going to broadcast message 1, which we need later. Switch costume to costume 5, which is the eating costume for anglerfish. Play sound chomp until done. And then switch costume to costume 3, which is the normal one. And then when we go over to fish, we are going to need this block when I receive message 1. And then go to random position on the board, and if on edge, bounce. So yeah, that's basically it. Now we can just test it out, click the flag icon, which is go, and then we can use WASD to control it. And if we go over here, um, that was yummy. And with these two, we can press W and A, or S and A, like here, W. W and A is like this, it moves upward to the left, and W and D moves upward to the right, and then A and S moves downward to the left, and, a, and S and D moves downward to the right. Um, and if, as you can see, if it touches the edge, it's not going to go any further, so that's just what we added. And yeah, that's basically it, so thanks for watching. Uh, you can always try and make this by yourself, or even if you're an advanced Scratch programmer or an advanced programmer in general, like you use very advanced coding languages and you don't like block-based coding anymore, you can still create this for fun. I don't know um, why you would, but um, if you want to, you can create this for fun, and it's pretty fun to create. I could create this in 15 minutes, so... I think you can as well. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Bye.